Hello and welcome to Bear Necessities. My name is Bear and today we are going to be talking about predators. Um, so predators are rangers and assassins. Um, I will say that a ranger and assassin are very different in play style. Um, this is primarily just because ranger has way more range skills way less stealth skills an assassin is utilizing stealth a ton because of how many stealth skills they have uh, while rangers only have one two three four stealth skills um, so uh, yeah without further ado let's go ahead and just jump into it and talk a little bit about some of the things that um, predators share we're on a ranger right now um, so we'll talk about Ranger right after this, um, but let's go ahead and get going. So both Rangers and Assassins get offensive stances and defensive stances, just like Rogues. I'll show you um, the Assassin ones too, because there are some differences. Survival Instincts is fairly similar between both um, Rangers and Assassins. However, their offensive stances are pretty different. Uh, as you can see, the ranger offensive stance gives weapon skills, and on a ranged hit, this has a 30% chance to cast quick shot on the target of attack, which is just a damage proc there. Um, we'll dive into that a little bit more once we start talking about just the ranger. Um, the second thing that both share is honed reflexes so this is a just like um the rogue share a uh, a steroid that i think gives dps mod ruthless cunning uh honed reflexes gives haste and is uh one minute duration five minute cooldown um and both rangers and assassins get this and then they both get stalk um same way that uh, rogues both get Shadow Slip, they both get Stalk. It's a very similar um, ability to Shadow Slip. Decreases threat, gives you stealth. Uh, Shadow Slip also reduces threat positions, so it's, Stalk is a little bit worse, but um, that is what uh, both Rangers and Assassins get. And to be honest, that's pretty much it. Um, when it comes to shared, of course they share all the things that normal scouts do. Um, they do get Hilt Strike, which is, um, I think only Bards and Predators get this, uh, but it's just an extra stun, um, so you can utilize that to get behind and do some um, positionals and things like that when you're soloing. Um, uh, I think, yeah, I think Rogues are the only one who don't get Hilt Strike, uh, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in, in the chat uh, or in the comments, but yeah. So that's it for similarities between predators. Let's talk. Let's go ahead and just jump into ranger. Um, so we're gonna do it the same way we did with the other scouts. Since rangers don't really get a bunch of group buffs, um, we're gonna talk about steroids. We're gonna talk about debuffs that they give. We're gonna talk about the type of damage spread in terms of normal combat arts, positionals, etc. And then we'll talk a little bit about some of their mainstay skills or their differences. Um, uh, what kind of makes a ranger, uh, you know, unique in that sense. Well, let's go ahead and start with the steroid buffs. Um, so one of the, the big, big ones they get is killing instinct, which is actually really, really good. Um, a really high amount of DPS mod, um, 77.3 for 36 seconds. And it also increases your range skill by 30, which that's, um, I mean, it's nice, but, uh, just helps increase your accuracy in that sense uh, next they have focus aim uh, it's a 10 second with a reset uh, recast of one minute so 10 second duration um, so uh, it is a bit of a group buff um, so for the 10 seconds it gives um, group members a chance to hit with their weapon increased by 24 percent and it also increases the weapon skills of the group for 10 seconds, which is really nice. Um, also, your chance to hit with a weapon will be increased by 8%. You get a huge haste buff, a huge DPS buff, 
huge piercing slashing buff and a huge range buff. So essentially it just makes it so people don't hit, or I mean people don't miss as much, and it also gives you a big boost of uh, hasten DPS mod. Uh, but it's only for 10 seconds. Um, over time I will say that this gets improved with AAs and things like that, so um, it, it does even more uh, later on. Let's talk about some of the persistent steroids they get. So I said we were going to come back to the offensive stance, um, and that's mainly because um, quick shot actually does a lot of damage. Uh, it's a 30% chance on a ranged hit, uh, and we'll talk about how many ranged hits that um, rangers have, but uh, they have a lot, and it's a percentage-based chance, which is it's really nice. It's it's way different than like, you know, like the five times per minute, six times per minute. Um, it procs a lot, um, and then also you have uh, makeshift area arrows, which is a, another steroid that is always on you. Uh, it says on a ranged hit, uh, it will cast makeshift arrow, which is just another proc for for piercing damage that only triggers once every four to six seconds but it's a hundred percent so every four to six seconds you are getting makeshift arrows um so that's pretty much it when it comes to their uh steroids uh, when it comes to their debuffs they don't really get that much if really at all um they do get uh, Ensnare, which reduces elemental um, mitigation. And then they do get their Snipe, which is just a defensive debuff. Um, but all scouts get those things. Um, other than that, they don't get any extra debuffs. Um, so let's talk a little bit about their damage spread. Um, one thing that you'll notice right away with... Um, with rangers is they have a lot of ranged skills so if you look they have one two three four five six seven seven non-positional non-stealth etc um just range skills they have one positional range skill behind and then they have two stealth range skills behind so if you really think about that it's um seven eight nine ten range skills um, so 10 of their abilities uh, are just do ranged damage. So let me um, let, let's talk a little bit about that. But like what does that mean? Like why why is that a big deal? Um, I mean it really, if you think about it, um, Rangers are, are similar to like a, a caster that does melee damage. Um, and has a few abilities that you need to be in for. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you're like a caster that can, can uh, I mean, you can run while casting, which is pretty interesting. Uh, one thing is uh, about it though, is um, like, you can see how long the cast time is on some of these abilities. Like, it's actually very, very long. Um, which even makes them even more like a caster. Um, the thing is, is since you can cast while running, it's not that big a deal. Um, but you'll also notice that a lot of their things have a decent, decent cooldown. Like this has a one minute. This has a one minute. This I think I think also has a one minute. This one has like a five or three minute. Um, so you got a lot, a lot of stuff with longer cooldowns. That you'll see that between both predators as well. Um, oh, another thing I meant to mention. So if you look in, um, if you go to your character screen, you go to options, um, there's an auto attack mode. If you're playing a ranger, you probably want to force ranged um, because then even if you use, uh, because if you're on automatic, if you use a melee ability, you'll attack with your, your weapons, um, your, your melee weapons. Um, it'll change like your auto attack over if you use force range spell even if you use melee attacks um it will whenever your auto attack comes up it will use a uh, ranged auto attack and we know why that's important because we just talked about their offensive stance only procs off of ranged hits and makeshift arrows only procs off of ranged hits which means that um it would only potentially proc off of your ca's 
um, if you were using melee attacks. Um, it can also proc off of your bow if you're using ranged attacks. Um, so that's, Im that's another important thing about rangers. Um, let's do the rest of the damage breakdown. So we talked about there's like, you know, 10 range skills. Well, when it comes to just normal melee combat arts, they have four. Uh, five if you count health strike, and six if you count strike of consistency. Um, when it comes to positionals, they have pretty much three. Um, well, uh, yeah, three. So they have rear shot, which um, is, is, is a bow attack, but you do have to be behind or flanking. Um, they have a um, just a normal backstab. You gotta be flanking or behind. What's interesting about this backstab is it also gives you stealth, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, you have Ranger Blade, which is um, you must be flanking or behind and sneaking. Um, and then um, I think that's it. Did I say that? Yeah, three positionals. That's correct. Uh, when it comes to stealth abilities, they do have uh, Ranger's Blade that we have up right now. They have Ember Strike, which just requires stealth. They have Hidden Shot, which is a bow attack that requires stealth, and it's actually your highest damage combat art. Um, other, uh, well, Storm of Arrows does more damage if you're, uh, well, I guess, yeah, it just does more damage in general. It has a higher damage spread. Uh, so it's your second damaging, highest damaging. Uh, and then you have a blue PBAOE um, that also requires stealth, called Natural Selection. So you have four stealth abilities. Um, you also have two abilities that put you into stealth. Um, the first one I just talked about was sneak attack, uh, and then you also have stalk. Um, since you so since you only have um, you know uh, that amount of of abilities, um, uh, only the four amount of abilities here. Uh, Hidden shot has a minute and a half recast. Um, Natural selection has uh, one minute recast. And then if you look at Ranger Blade, I think it has a minute recast. And Ember Strike has a, a 10 second recast. Uh, while um, your Sneak Attack also has a 10 second recast. So essentially, you know, you're going to prioritize your big damage hitters like your um, in PBAOE situations, your Natural Selection. You got your Hidden Shot and your Ranger Blade that you, of course, want to keep on cooldown. Um, and you can use you can go into stealth to, to keep those on cooldown um, and then you know once these abilities are all on cooldown you still always have the ability to do sneak attack into ember strike um, for uh, since they're on the same cooldown you pretty much can just kind of spam those as they come up um, with all your other normal abilities of course um, but uh, also finally when it comes to AOE, you really only have natural selection when it comes to blue. Um, and then you have Storm of Arrows when it comes to green. The thing about Storm of Arrows that's a little bit tricky is since it's your also your highest damage um, ability, uh, it, you also want to use this on single target mobs. Um, you don't want to save it for only for groups unless you know there's a group coming up uh, very soon. Um, but you, you definitely want to keep this on cooldown because it's one of your highest damage attacks. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Ranger. Um, one of the things that you'll you'll realize and notice about um, Rangers and even Assassins in terms of just playstyle is that um, being in groups is really really opens up your kit. Um, just because you have a number of positionals, you have a number of stealth, and if you go stealth by using, say for example, say I use stalk on like one of these ice wolves or whatever, um, if I'm the only one on the threat list, or if I'm the top on the threat list, watch, I'll show you, uh, if they hit me, so hit me, please, uh, well, this thing will hit me, okay, so see it hit me, um, and whenever it hit me, it actually knocked me out of, um, if, you, if you'll notice, it knocked me out of stealth, right? So when you're soloing and you're trying to get a stealth attack off, um, since rangers have really long cast times when it comes to stuff like hidden shot um, or even uh, natural selection, uh, if you have aggro on anything, um, 
then there's a good chance it'll just knock you out of it. And if it knocks you out of stealth and you're in the middle of casting Hidden Shot, for example, then Hidden Shot won't go off and it'll just be wasted cast time. So something to keep in mind. Um, if, but if you have a, have a group that you're playing with, um, oh, well, there's some bad guys here. Um, if you have a group that you're playing with a lot, then, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But, uh, I figured I would mention it just, just in case if you're a solo player, I mean, you can still solo very well on a, uh, on a ranger, but, um, the, uh, you're not just, you're not going to be able to use like the entire kit. Like, see, I, if I stun this, I'm probably going to get knocked out of, I didn't but um, probably because these are green but uh, talking about later expansions a little bit um, rangers do get uh, you know more things as time goes along um, one thing that they get that's really good I think it's an EOF is um, searing shot I'll, I'll pull that up one second let's put this thing that's attacking me um, when it comes to searing shot it's just a, it's just a normal bow attack uh, it gets a modifier that essentially makes the mob take 5% more damage. Uh, there's very few classes that get modifiers like that. I think Monk gets one from, from their KOS AAs. And I think um, Necros get one as well uh, with Mortality Mark. Um, but it just makes the mob take overall more damage. Um, so that's an interesting, uh, interesting ability in addition to Rangers. So yeah, that's it for Rangers. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll jump into Assassins next. All right, let's talk a little bit about Assassins. So one thing that I did want to bring up um, about Assassins, and this is kind of early on, is, and I forgot about this with Ranger, but both Rangers and Assassins essentially have a self buff. Um, which I think I, I mentioned in the scout video and that's probably why I didn't bring it up um, but I did want to talk a little bit about it because I think um, there's pretty drastic differences between rangers and assassins uh, rangers they get like extra haste uh, and base stat um, the assassin one is pretty insane um, they get 25% base avoidance primary stat multi-attack by 52 which is insane um, and then they get met for physical uh, and elemental noxious and arcane um, the ranger one they get haste um, which is, is I mean honestly rangers have a lot of base haste because of focus aim and, and honed reflexes and all that so they do have a lot of haste for a class but 50 multi attack is quite a lot and this is just a static buff that's on all the time um, so honestly, with assassins, um, I consider this really like a steroid. So we're kind of, kind of already jumping into steroids. Um, while on ranger, uh, it is a bit of a steroid. Their self buff is, um, but just not on the same level as as assassins. Um, so let's talk about the other steroids. Um, so of course they get the honed reflexes, just like rangers, uh, which is the haste. But then they also get a thirty six second. Uh, DPS mod um, that also increases um, piercing slash and crushing and increases their accuracy so um, deadly focus is great um, DPS mod is great especially if you have some haste buffs in your group um, that extra DPS mod and the multi attack just uh, really make assassins do a lot of damage uh, and then let's look at their offensive stance which is also a steroid um, they have a two times per minute uh, proc as well as just their um, increased uh, combat skills and uh, a decrease in their defense when it comes to their defensive stance there's not a whole lot different um, from between scouts and rangers I mean between uh, assassins and rangers so let's talk a little bit about uh, def defense um, or um, debuffs they do get a little bit more um, they get crippling strike, which is uh, a flanking. It's a positional flanking behind. Uh, they also get the normal um, snare, which is nox resist, and they get the uh, normal defense debuff with torture. Um, there's also uh, their torture is actually quite 
uh, a bit better than um, some of the other defense debuffs because it also gives uh, 3.2 combat mit, which is actually pretty pretty decent for just an ability like this, um, and it also decreases physical mit um, resistance, which is pretty pretty damn good. So um, between uh, those three abilities, they do get extra debuffs that rangers do not. Uh, let's go ahead and jump from debuffs into regular abilities, um, our ability breakdown. So they get um, five normal CAs. Uh, Deathmark is, I'm, I'm going to mention it and talk a little bit about it because it's a little bit different. Um, so Deathmark is a, a, an ability that you put, oh, I don't want to fight like a full group. Um, let's just see if we can attack this guy. Um, no, this is a group too, but it's an ability you put on and then whenever uh, it has a chance to turn into marked um, and whenever that happens um, you essentially get five triggers of damage uh, so essentially uh, it's like five proc damage for five five triggers and it's going to do extra damage so it's really nice um, let me kill this guy real quick um, and it's an interesting ability uh, that while you're soloing, of course, you, you may not notice it as much. Um, like, for example, it's not even proccing right now on him. Um, but in it, it says when damaged with a melee weapon, this has a 5% chance to cast tar on, uh, marked on the target. When you're in a raid setting or even a group setting, um, it's going to proc like immediately. So like you're going to use this ability and then you're going to get five triggers of agonizing pain like almost immediately. Um, so does a lot of damage. Uh, you need to keep that on cooldown. It's super good. Um, so assassins also do get a number of ranged abilities. They get four actually. Um, headshot. Let's just pull them up here. Headshot and and uh, spine shot are both uh, flanking or behind, and but they're just bow attacks. Um, they get deadly shot which is just a normal bow attack that like most scouts get uh, and then they also get improvised weapon which actually isn't a bow shot um, so it says a range piercing attack does not require using a way uh, uh, an equipped range weapon so it does it has a range on it like I can use this from quite far away the same amount as my other bow shot um, but it just does damage from range um, and it's not like you're shooting a bow or anything. You just kind of like throw a little dagger at them. Um, so when it comes to positionals, uh, so I just mentioned one of the positionals. Um, let me kill this guy real quick. Um, you have the two bow shot positionals. You have um, crippling strike, which is a positional. And then you have, um, let's see, I said you had five, but it may actually be more. No, it's just, it's just five. And then you have one stealth positional with eviscerate, and then you have mass strike, which is a positional. Uh, and mass strike is just like the ranger um, backstab. It puts you in stealth after you use it. So let's talk a little bit about stealth abilities, um, because assassin has a ton of them. Um, so you have your normal stealth ability that you would um, that like most or pretty much every scout has um, But then you have a ton more so you have five more single target ones Or four more single target ones one two three four five more single target ones Sorry, I can't count and then both your aoe abilities your blue aoe's are also um, sorry, let me move these on the screen, are also stealth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stealth abilities. And you only really have two ways to get into stealth, exactly like the ranger. Um, so you have stalk and you have mass strike. Um, so when it comes to um, using your stealth abilities, uh, you really need to take advantage of these. Um, Mass Strike only has a 10 second recast, Stalk has a 30. So utilize these to make sure you're getting your, um, you're keeping, you know, your 
um, stealth abilities on cooldown. I will mention this though, like in the future, there are uh, abilities that help you chain together multiple um, stealth abilities. Concealment is one of them, you get it next expansion. Um, but we're gonna stick to, to strictly vanilla here um, and, and talk about it. So uh, you really want to utilize these to get your, your abilities off. One thing that assassins get, and I, I want to mention this um, as just kind of a main state skill, is of course you could assassinate. You can see the high end damage of it is almost ten thousand. That's crazy for for um, for vanilla. Like that's a lot of damage. Uh, it does have a five minute recast, of course, but um, when it comes to you know assassin versus ranger, uh, ranger uh, eventually gets a, a spell called. Uh, ranger shot sniper shot yeah sniper shot um, and it's the same or it, it doesn't do I don't even think it does as much damage as assassinate but it was kind of like um, EverQuest 2 way of giving uh, ranger something on the level of assassinate but it's just nowhere near as good um, and assassinate um, assassins have assassinate during vanilla so this plus the fact that they get so much multi-attack from their self buff um, really really makes assassins like probably I would say probably the best DPS uh, in like raid settings um, in this uh, in this expansion. Um, you know, uh, summoners are are still very very good. Uh, there is a chance that they could potentially get nerfed, um, and I'll talk about that later. But uh, when it comes to summoners and sorcerers, they're really good DPS as well. But um, assassins are, are kind of just they're just they're just really good. Uh, but when it comes to you know soloing and stuff, the fact that you have so many um, or even duoing, honestly, they have so many like positionals and they have to be in stealth um, and things like that. That does actually make them um, not as efficient of a soloer um, but like if you if you have a static group or you're playing with a you know you have a a raid that you're gonna be raiding with um, a group of people you're gonna be raiding with then uh, you really want to pump out some good DPS uh, assassins definitely for you so um, yeah I, 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 I uh, think that both predators are are fun um, I think at least in this expansion, assassins just feel a little bit better than rangers. Um, I don't, uh, but they're just such a different playstyle. So if you if you really want to stand from range and, and shoot your arrow, uh, bow and arrow, then like rangers the class for you. If you want to really get in there and use all these stealth abilities, then uh, assassins the class for you. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, thanks everyone for subscribing, uh, subscriber counts growing by the day. Um, I, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and, uh, I know I don't know everything about every single class, but hopefully this is just a good primer to give you an idea of how some of the classes play, what some of their abilities are like, and, um, hopefully help you pick a class. Uh, Varsoon comes out next Tuesday, so we've got two more videos coming up, uh, on the Mage DPS classes. Um, so if you want to be notified when that content comes, please subscribe, please hit the bell. And if you want to give me any sort of feedback, constructive criticism, etc., please um, leave it in the comments as well as leave a like on this video. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you later.